All righty. Well, okay. So we're here back with week two of the uh, of the Fat Method program. Uh, week one is in the books. I hope it was a great week for you. Uh, I hope you're successful with your two 24-hour fasts. And, you know, as I said last week, hopefully you joined us in the private Facebook group. You know, I was able to, you know, chat and you're able to, you know, show all of us or tell us, you know, tell us, you know, what you did, um, you know, how long you went for, how your fasts were. Uh, in addition to that, hopefully you're able to uh, get onto the live call on Wednesday uh, night at seven o'clock. And, and then, of course, you know, if you have any questions that are, are more private or, or uh, more personal and you don't want to share them in the private Facebook group uh, or on the call on Wednesday night, you can always uh, message me. Uh, you can direct message me on uh, Facebook or you can send me an email and I'll get uh, get back to you. All right. So all right, if you did that already, you know, I'm sure uh, I'm sure I got back to you. Um, so. All right, so week one is done. Uh, and as people say, it's you know easy, easier than I thought. Um, and hopefully you fall into that category. Uh, it wasn't as difficult as you thought. And, and some of those things, you know, they said happened to you in terms of not being as hungry. Uh, you know, uh, you know when you broke your fast, uh, you know, not eating as much uh, as you might have, uh, you know, noticed uh, that you're starting to eat a little bit healthier, uh, or uh, maybe uh, craving healthier foods. Uh, if that hasn't happened yet, don't worry, that will happen. Uh, you know, same thing with uh, all the other stuff uh, I said, you know, about having more energy and sleeping better. You know, we're, it's just uh, just week one, uh, week one so far. So, you know, sometimes that doesn't happen until like, you know, weeks, you know, two, three, four, and so on. Um, but now we're on to week two. So what we're going to, what we're going to discuss now um, you know, last week we talked about the fasting and the benefits and, you know, what the schedule was, you know, in terms of, you know, the two 24 hour fast. Uh, now what we're going to talk about, uh, there are two topics that I want to go over today. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about weighing yourself. Um, you know, that's how we're going to keep, uh, keep track of our progress. And, you know, we're also going to talk about, you know, what you're eating when you're not fasting. So, so let's go ahead and talk about weighing yourself first. Uh, what I'd like you guys to do is I'd, I'd like you guys to weigh yourself every day, okay? But, you know, I, I want you to weigh it and then forget about it. I know it's e you know easier said than done. You know, I'm absolutely 100% aware of that. But as much as you can just weigh it and forget it, you know, it's, you know set it and forget it, they say, you know, nothing rises with weigh. So we'll just uh, weigh it and forget it. Um, so, you know, what I want you to do is weigh yourself at the same time preferably in the morning after you get up, after you go to the bathroom, you know, weigh yourself, um, you know, I want you to write it down, whether that's, you know, pen to paper or on a computer um, or, you know, on your phone somewhere, you need to keep track of it. And I want you to do it every day. At the end of the seventh day, I want you to take the tally of the seven days. So you're going to add up all seven days you know, probably going to be, you know, 900 or, or whatever, you know, depending on, on, you know, how you weigh, but let's just say, you know, somebody on average weighed or, or weighs uh, 120 pounds. So, you know, seven days of 120, uh, 120, 120, it's 840 pounds. All right. So you divide it by seven, it's exactly 120, but your numbers aren't going to be, they're not going to be the same every day. They're going to be a little different and there's going to be, you know, like decimal points and that kind of stuff. So, um, so go ahead and take, you know, take your weight every day, divide it by seven at the end of the week. So at, you know, at the end of the week, um, it'll be like, you know, like from Saturday is the last day of the week, for, you know, for me. So I'll go Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, Saturday, and then I'll, you know, tally it up after Saturday and divide it by seven. So I get my average for the week. And the reason, you know, we do it is we want to see our progress over time. And, you know, we're not, you know, we're not thinking of this. We, we shouldn't be thinking of this as a daily thing. You know, you're, you're not trying to lose weight every day. You're trying to lose weight every week. You know, some weeks are going to be, you know, more than others. Um, you're going to have some days where your weight goes up a little bit. Right. And, and, you know, that's probably going to happen. Uh, let's, you know, say like a Monday, you know, it's very common where many people don't fast over the weekend. So, the number goes down during the week because there's a couple of fasts involved there. And then on Monday, um, after maybe you know not eating so great or not eating like they they do during the week, the number's up a little bit. So you know, you're training, you're retaining water. Uh, you know, when you eat, you you eat a lot of you know salty foods, 
Um, so, so that number might be up a little bit on Monday, but that's why. So again, weigh yourself and forget it. If that number is up a little bit, it's it's going to come back down as the week goes on. And, you know, as your weight chart would almost be you know, a little bit like, you know, like a heart rate chart, right? Where, you know, your heart rate comes up or your blood pressure. But what we want is, you know, we might, we, we might want to see it go up a little and then down and then up a little bit and then down a little bit and up a little bit and down. So overall, it's a gradual trend of going down. Okay. And that's what your weekly averages will show. Your weekly averages will keep going down. And in between, you might see a little blip here and, and there where it goes up. And, and then again, that could be after eating, you know, salty foods or going away for the weekend and, and eating a lot. So understand that your weight, you know, certain days again, especially on a Monday, might be a little higher than you know some of the other days. Now, do we just use a scale as our gauge of progress? No, you know, there's other things, right? Like I said, this is, you know, this is almost as much about health as it is about weight. So, you know, I want you to see, you know, how you're feeling, you know, do you have more energy? Do you feel better? Uh, do you have less bloating? Uh, are you moving better, right? Do you feel lighter? Um, we're also going to go by, you know, how our clothes fit, right? You know, many, many people going through this program have talked about how their clothes got much, much looser. And, you know, I say, well, yeah, well, of course, you know, your clothes are, are are a lot looser, but really, you know, your body got a lot smaller, right? So your your clothes didn't change, uh, your body's changing. So, you know, your clothes feeling looser because your body's smaller, right? And, you know, I understand, you know, when they say, of course, that, you know, my clothes are looser, you know, so that's, that's how we're going to gauge our progress. Okay. So it, it's up to you, you know, what you want to do with that in terms of your weight. And, you know, what I mean by that is, you know, you can send it to me, you know, some people direct message me, you know, their weight every day just to keep track. Um, you know, some people uh, send me an email every week and say, Hey, here's my you know weight for the week. You know, I'd love to see it. So you don't have to, but you know, two things that holds, holds people accountable uh, more, uh, you know, when they're uh, sending their weight over to somebody, number one, and number two, I, I like to see it. I like to see the progress that you're making. So, um, and, and let's say there, you know, maybe say there, there's maybe not as much progress as you thought, or as what you were hoping, or, you know, what I was hoping, you know, I'd reach out, you know, I'd reach out, reach out to you and say, Hey, you know, I noticed, you know, the last couple of weeks, you know, the weight hasn't really changed much. So, um, you know, let's have a conversation. You know, we can always hop on the phone and talk about it. Um, so, so that's what the weight, um, you know, uh, gauging your progress. Now, the other thing I'll, uh, I would also recommend is taking it before picture. Uh, probably, I, I probably should have said that last week, but it's okay. You know, we're only a week into it, but taking it before picture, um, like a front picture, you know, side picture, um, you know, preferably in something form fitting, you know, something tight. So that way you can see, you can see a difference if you wear baggy clothes, you lose 15, 17, 18, 20 pounds you're maybe, you know, not really uh, going to see a difference. But if you wear something uh, that's form fitting, even like a sports bra and a pair of shorts, um, yeah, I don't have to see it. Um, you know, after eight weeks, after a huge transformation, if you'd like to show me, you know, I'd love to see it. Um, but that's up to you. All right. So, so that's how we're going to gauge our progress with our weight and with the other things I mentioned. Now, let's talk about, you know, what are we eating when we're not fasting? You know, I told you last week, I, I wasn't really that concerned with, you know, with it. And you know, even this week, I'm not overly concerned, you know, with what you're eating. What, what I do recommend though, is you, is you try and get as close to a complete meal as possible when you're not fasting. So, you know, that would be protein, vegetables, carbohydrates, um, but not, uh, you know, uh, you know, P P uh, not pizza, you know, as a carbohydrate, I'm talking about things like, um, you know, like rice, potatoes, um, you can have rice cakes, uh, you know, fruit is an excellent carbohydrate, um, you know, more importantly is the protein, because again, you know, we're strength training, you know, now hopefully you're, you're strength training, you're following the strength training program. So we want to make sure that we're getting enough proteins that we're holding, you know, so we can hold on to that lean muscle, right? Now, I talked about, you know, how important it was for strength training to hold on to the lean muscle. But now we need to, you know, feed that muscle with protein, okay? So that's going to be the homework for this week or, or the guideline. 
what were the rule of thumb to follow? Try and you'll know, get some protein with each of your meals. Okay, so let's uh, let's go with uh, an example of a typical day of eating when you're not fasting. Let's say you're eating at 10 o'clock and then you're going to eat again at, uh, uh, you know, let's say, for example, that you're eating at you know 12 o'clock and then you're eating again at three o'clock and then you're eating, you know, dinner at six o'clock, right? So, so 12 o'clock uh, could be anything, right? Um, again, you know, we want to try and be healthy. So, you know, maybe a salad, uh, we're going to get protein. So you're going to put, uh, you know, put some grilled chicken in your salad or um, you're going to put, uh, um, you, know, whatever, you know, some kind of fish, uh, you know, salmon, or, or maybe you're having a turkey burger, um, you know, some kind of healthy lean protein. Um, you also, again, want to shoot for protein at your three o'clock meal. All right, that's where you know most people don't get their protein. They they only get it at one meal, and usually it's lunch and and maybe uh, well maybe dinner as well too. And that's you know, that's a mistake. So let's say you're having your protein with lunch, and then your your three o'clock meal or your snack would be again protein. So you know that could be cottage cheese. Um, you know, I happen to happen to love cottage cheese. You know, it's a great source of protein. Uh, you know, it could be uh, yogurt, right? That could be uh, like Greek yogurt. Um, could be hard boiled eggs. Uh, it could have a rice cake with peanut butter on it. Um, uh, tuna fish, right? Tuna fish is an excellent source of protein. Uh, that's also uh, definitely one of my favorites. Um, so again, three o'clock, twelve o'clock. Uh, you know, three o'clock you're getting protein as well, and then for dinner. Um, I think dinner's easier. You know, it's easier, you know, an easier time to get protein. Uh, that's where we're what we're looking at. You know, we're, you know, typically it's like you know grilled chicken or you know turkey, uh, you know uh, ground beef, you know some kind of fish, steak. Uh, I mean, you guys, I think I, you know, all of you know uh, what protein foods are, um, and you know, and for uh, uh, for dinner, um, you also want to get a carbohydrate as well too, and um, so. Uh, you know, some other, uh, uh, other, uh, foods as we get further along into this, you know, we're going to create sort of like an own, uh, your own personal eating schedule, you know, what you're eating, uh, you know, when you're eating, in fact, you know, we're going to start going over that next week. So we'll start writing down, you know, what you're eating for me, you're going to email to me and then, you know, I'm going to take it from there and, you know, I'm going to email you back personally. We're going to go over, you know, you know, what foods you're eating, what time you're eating, um, then we're going to kind of, you know, set your schedule. But right now, you know, I just want you to shoot for, you know, for more protein. Uh, that's the goal for this week. Shoot for more protein and keep doing the strength training. Uh, you know, we have the strength training. Uh, that said, you know, we're shooting for, you know, two times a week at minimum with that. You know, three would be great. Uh, four is even better if you have time for it. Um, and, and so that's it. So, you know, we're going to make sure that you know, we're weighing ourselves every day. And after seven days we want to add it up and we're going to take the average we're also going to make sure that we gauge your progress by not just the scale but by how your clothes fit how we feel you know sleeping better less bloating more energy you know that kind of stuff uh and then we're going to try and get uh, a more complete eating schedule uh when we're not fasting and predominantly adding protein with each meal uh, many women especially you know don't get enough protein you know the rule of thumb is you're supposed to get one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So, you know, if you have a person who weighs 120 pounds, it should be roughly getting uh, about 120 grams of protein, um, which it, it can be difficult for some. <clears throat> um, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, well below, you know, w women tend to get well below that um, and, and usually fall, you know, way short of that. So if you could even shoot for, you know, half of your weight in grams of protein. So if you weigh 150 pounds, you know, definitely, you know, make sure you get at least 75 um, or, you know, at least 60 to 75 grams in uh, of protein per day. That'd be a great start. And I'm sure if you tally it right now, um, you know, you, you'd probably be way short of that. So, so that's what we're going to do this week. We're going to try and, you know, up the protein intake and, you know, again, protein is very satiating. Uh, it's going to make you feel full as opposed to a carbohydrate. So uh, it's a nice trade-off here too. All right, guys, uh, you know, that's it for week two. Uh, again, so, you know, get in the private Facebook group. If you're not there, um, you know, make sure you ask questions, look around, you know, see, um, you know, what others are asking, you know, helping people, other people out, motivating them, you know, and I'm sure they're going to do the same for you. So, and also get on the live calls on Wednesday at seven o'clock, you know, ask your questions there. 
Um, and you can listen to everybody else's questions. All right. Well, that's it for this week. Um, you guys have a uh, have a great rest of the day and a great week. And I'll uh, talk to you guys soon.